commentate. Let's get right into it. It's going to be Mar Mortality X versus Mufobia. No, I'm not the JV of the JV4 stock variety. The shout out to JV3X3. He's a good dude. Yeah, JV3X3. But uh, yeah, um, we all know Axe. Axe, Axe is Aximus Maximus. We lo know and love him for that Pikachu that you see on his hat there. Mufobia, you probably don't know about if you're new to the stream. He plays a pretty solid Falco here. Uh -huh. I'd actually be really interested to see how your Falco goes against his Falco. To be Falls? Oh, no, 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 no. You, 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 you won. Your Falco against Mufobia's Falco. Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. The last time we played, I, I won. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know. Oh, okay. I figured. So anyway, we're gonna go <laughs> Mufobia versus Aximus Maximus of Mortality Esports, and he's not even going Falco. He actually opts for Pikachu. Yeah, in this mm -hmm. matchup. He does have a lot of great aerials that's going to be really handy for edge guarding uh, Falco, who doesn't have the best recovery as we saw right there. That was just Jeez. one Thunder Jolt, less than 15 seconds, and there goes Mufobia's first stock. I just love how Axe puts the Thunder Jolt in the right spot just in case you try to double jump in side B. He already cuts that option off. You have to find another way to recover. Usually, I'd say a Shine Stall would assist in that situation. You Shine Stall, wait it out, and then once once it's away from you, you know, the, the Thunder Jolt, mm. then you can double jump inside B. But you have to be careful because Axe will put himself in that spot off stage just to get you that that good old tail swipe. Yeah, that, that option coverage. Mm -hmm. It's really solid by Axe. Now, unfortunately for Axe, he didn't have the best recovery there. Did he D1? He uh, used that quick attack and ends up losing a stock. That was unfortunate. Yeah, three apiece, but look at these juggles from Axe. So relentless, not letting Mufobi touch the ground. And right when he does, he's able to get, oh, a nice shine. Like the up air, he was trying to go for the down air there. Unfortunately, Axe went a little too high. Oh, wow. Mufobia's Falco's looking pretty crisp right now. Yeah. Is he going to put Axe in the loser's bracket? I don't know, D1. It would be quite the upset. And we have had our fair share of upsets this weekend, haven't we? True, true. There are a lot to talk about. Mm. Good forward to Radio by Axe to push Mufobia down to two stocks right now. And we have a trade with the down smash, but Mufobia keeps on moving. That's a dare. Oh, oh, yeah, not the best spacing on it, unfortunately. But he gets him with that one. Can we see a double dare? Oh, oh he doesn't commit. Yeah. He instead wanted to go for a shine turnaround back here, but it was too far away. And he gets caught by that down smash from Axe. And Axe, I like it. He's still respecting Mufobia because he's at that higher percentage. You see him go in and then just retreat out, wait for Mufobia to make another approach before approaching himself. Absolutely. And here's the pressure from Mufobia. And if you notice right there, Axe went for the up smash out of shield. Noticing because, noticing that his shield was really low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That option comes out really fast, so strong. Isn't it the uh, strongest uncharged up smash in the game? Oh, precisely, my good friend. Oh, and that back air was so precise by Mufobia. Great stuff making this two stocks apiece. But he has to be careful. Look at that percentage. Nice back air by Axe. And it was so late that I think it threw off Mufobia's DI. As you noticed, he went off to the side with no DI. Up smash, tech chase. Oh, he tried to go for the pivot. Up smash in place. Mufobia, opportunity for a combo. Wow. Yeah, already opening up pretty nicely. Yeah, I like the jab. Laser reset. Okay, good up smash there from Axe. I thought we were going to see him dip low, but he waited for Mufobia to waste that jump first before trying to push him back off the stage. Good patience by Axe. And look at all those multiple up airs into a soft neutral air to SD. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Hey, you don't want to be seeing that. But we see Mufobia. Hey, maybe he has a chance to make that upset that we were hoping. Uh, I mean, maybe we just saw him apply some pressure to Axe's shield, did a little combo into a shine grab. But Axe gets the up smash, doesn't need the thunder, taking game one. Well said, well said. So, we saw good things from both of these players. Axe coming off very strong at the beginning with that thunder jolt gimp. So well placed. Yes. But then we saw some really creative combo options as well from Mufobia. You know? wow. I guess it's going to be really a matter of what Mufobi is going to do to adjust to some of the pressure that Axe is putting whenever he's off stage. Yeah. Seeing as Falco as a character doesn't necessarily have the best recovery options to start with, and Axe's gimp game is amazing, but just as I say that Axe makes a character switch, we're going back to battle Battlefield, but Axe is going as Falco. Yep, here we go. Axe, realizing how close the matchup was, wants to go Falco this time around. I like the decision. And immediately, look at so clean he is with his tech skill. And the moment I mentioned that, he misses the edge cancel <laughs> off the side of the platform there. Yeah, before we are finally able to get a little bit of percentage on him. Oh, and he makes it back on stage. Interesting angle as well. Yeah. Probably catching Axe off guard. A dash attack sometimes might be able to help you with catching opponents that try to you know, basically fade into the stage after being high. Wow, so they both uh, kind of misplaced those shines a little bit, but Axe is able to open up Mufobi a bit. He has him towards the edge. Nice set of jabs, like the laser pressure as well. What oh. is he looking for? I like the jab cancels right there. Looking pretty. 
Oh, here's Mophobia's opportunity. He gets the forward tilt. Oh, oh nice. Oh, yeah. Now, now, Mophobia did tell me that he's been prepping himself for Falco Dittles the next time that I do come back to Texas. <laughs> so here's his opportunity to practice right now with Axe, who's yeah. definitely a way better Falco than I am. <laughs> and hey, we know and love Axe for that Pikachu, but don't count his Falco out. Such a technical player, and that was a great forward tilt to end that stock. Nice. Here's Mophobia's chance again. Oh, but instead we see Axe with a counter attack. Really good stuff so far. Opening up Mufobia for a quick 40. There. Oh, nice. He had the double jump and the... Wow, Axe is just so consistent. He's fast. Yeah, with the shield drops, mind you. Like we said, that tech yeah. is so nice. And it, it just kind of goes to show just how solid of a player Axe is. Oh. oh. Unfortunate SD there from Mufobia. Not quite what we were hoping to see. Axe yeah. taking it very convincingly, though. 2-0. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm about to have my opportunity.